Don't categorize me like stop, that. Stop putting don't me in a box, man. Stop putting me in a box. You, you know are I'm that guy. guy. No, I'm not don't that guy. Don't try and change. I'm not that guy. Multidimensional, man. Hey, 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 get in here and show people. What, the other day on the podcast. This is a special move. The other day it's not that, my special move. The other special? day we were right. on the podcast and we, we got into reciprocal inhibition. And yeah. uh, we, talk, we talked about, you brought up a move that you use that I... I was not familiar with her, I'd never utilized before, so I'd love for you to show so, me and everybody So else. here's the deal, a lot of people hip flexor dominant. <clears throat> so when they do core exercises like plank exercises, leg raises, you know, sit-ups, whatever, they end up pulling a lot with the hip flexors. Now here's what we need to keep in mind. If I'm working the core or my abs, this is the motion of the abs, okay? The motion of the abs is here, it's flexing at the flexing spine. Extension. The motion of the hip flexors is to flex here, at the right. hips. Which those are so close related, so it's very oh, typical. Right, so if I'm doing if I'm doing leg raises and this is all hip flexors, all hip you know, flexors. if I'm doing this is hip flexors, but people don't realize that. I want this. But a lot of people have trouble with that because they're so hip flexor dominant. Anytime they try to do a core exercises, hip flexors it's take over. dominate that whole exercise. That's right. So this the next movement I'm gonna show you is a great way to deactivate the hip flexors so that you can just work the core. It's not a big ab builder. It's just a good exercise to get you the right muscle recruitment pattern. Okay, so a, a, good, a good person for this is if you are somebody who, if you do abs and you feel a lot in your hip flexors. Or, or you, you just get low back pain. Yeah, People oh, who yeah. do leg raises or and feel just, the low or back. Or you never feel it in your abs, right? right. If you don't oh, feel yeah, this. You it, don't get proper yeah, engagement. If, exactly. So this, if you're listening right now and you're somebody who does not feel ab workouts in your abs, yeah. you know, or you feel a lot in your hip flexors, you're a perfect well, person Well, keep this. this in mind though, Adam. There's a lot of people be like, I feel in my abs, I feel the burn in my abs. But they're still using a Why, lot of when I flexors. do leg raises though, my lower back hurts? Yeah. Your hip ah. flexors are doing all the work. Yeah, so, right. let me show you how to do this. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna deactivate, uh, let me take my phone out of my pocket, unprepared. So unprepared. You wanna deactivate the, uh, the hip flexors by activating the muscles that oppose the hip flexors, and in this case, it's the glutes. So this is very easy, you can do this at home. I'm using a bench here, you can use a chair, doesn't matter. You wanna lay on your back, put your heels on the bench or chair or whatever, and you wanna elevate the hips just a little bit. So all I'm doing She's is I'm pushing up. into the bench and I'm elevating just a little bit, so it's just maybe an inch, and I'm squeezing my glutes. Feel my glutes, Adam, make sure they're squeezed. Get in there. <laughs> so, so my, I'll adjust to do that. So my glutes are activated, I'm which means here. My hip flexors are relaxed, and I can see right here, now, I can poke them. Can you see them. how far you, you have the okay. bench out? Does it matter how close the bench is to you? Can I bring if it If it's in? too close to you, then you'll end up just pulling with your hamstrings. So I want to I want to have it a little further away than 90 degrees. Okay. So yeah. right about here. Okay. So I'm going to push in, elevate the hips, squeeze the glutes, hands across the shoulders or behind the head, whatever's more comfortable, and you want to do your crunches while maintaining your hips off the floor. Wow. So, so while I'm squeezing the glutes, mm. I'm working my So midsection. you only have, Slight you really only have about your, sh your shoulder blades are the only thing that's really It's touching. a very short range of motion. And it's Elevated harder here. than it looks. It's harder than it looks because a lot of people with hip flexor uh, dominance, they're going to try doing this and they're going to be like, well, I can't do it because they're so used to activating the hip flexors. So keep the glutes squeezed, hips off the floor, and then do very slow crunches to get that recruitment pattern done properly. God, I love this that. This is a great yeah. movement right before you do your other ab exercises. Get the core to fire the way you want, then move on to your- You're making that good connection. Exactly. Before you go into like maybe your really heavy weight one or strength one, right? Exactly. Love that.